We learned this morning that Mike Nichols had died at the age of 83. In the sports world, guys like him are called a player's coach. In this life, he was an actor's director, and he died respected by all. He was wickedly funny. He loved funny people, and they loved him right back. And that was just the start of it. <laughs> Mike Nichols first burst onto the scene as comedy wingman to Elaine May. He then quietly slipped behind the camera and in short order became the favorite of some of the best actors of our time. The director is there for other people. The point is to help the actors. And if you can't help them, you're not doing your job. They loved him for how he saw things. Case in point, his masterpiece, The Graduate. Other directors would simply show us Dustin Hoffman. Nichols chose to shoot him through the arched, seductive leg of Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> and let us in on the key to life and financial success. Plastics. A brief list of his directing credits begins on Broadway. Barefoot in the Park, The Odd Couple, Death of a Salesman, Prisoner of Second Avenue. His first film, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, received 13 Oscar nominations. A great big fat flutter! Oh, stop it, Martha. I hope that was an empty bottle, George. You can't afford to waste good liquor. Then came The Graduate, the film version of Barefoot in the Park, Carnal Knowledge, Heartburn, Silkwood, Catch-22, Working Girl. I have a head for business and a bod for sin. Is there anything wrong with that? For television, Primary Colors, Wit and Angels in America, and on and on. In fact, he's one of a dozen people in history to have earned the EGOT, an unromantic Pentagon-like acronym for winning the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. You see before you a happy man. He was a kind of social and cultural anthropologist. His work tracked life in America, perhaps because he was an immigrant, born in Germany. He changed his name upon arrival as his family of Russian Jews fled the Nazis. A bad reaction to a childhood inoculation left him without hair, and he wore wigs all his life, as he went about studying everything he could about people. There's only one question. What is it really like when this happens? When somebody seduces someone, when somebody kills someone, when somebody loses someone? Mike Nichols showed us to ourselves his impact on the arts on 50 years of American popular culture is indelible. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive? Welcome, Mike and Diane. About that Di Diane he just mentioned, that would be our friend Diane Sawyer, his wife of 26 years. Her beloved partner, Mike.